Wanna make some menu scenes that look cool and easy to make? Well, today I'm gonna show you how you can make this cool UI effect where background moves in response to your mouse position. And trust me, it is super quick and easy to make. So first of all, I have this very simple UI. I have one color rec node for the background color and some labels and buttons. Now to transform this into this, I will first of all remove this color rec node and replace it with a texture rec node. Then set its anchor to full rec to cover the entire area. Now instead of simple plain color, I am gonna use a gradient color for the background and it is actually very simple. Just click on this texture rec, then in the texture, click on this drop down and select new gradient texture 1D. And now you have the option to set the gradient. So after setting the gradient, next comes the moving part of the UI. For the moving part, I'm gonna first of all add one control node to keep everything at the center. Then I'm gonna add three color rec node. You can increase it in whatever shape you want, but just make sure that you expand the shape outside of the screen as well, because we are going to move it. Then for the color of each color rec node, use this dropper and select the color of anywhere around it. Repeat the same process for the two as well. And now half of your work is done. Now attach a script to the root node. And here, first of all, we are going to create two variables. One for storing the coordinates of the center and other one is just a reference to our control node. Then in the ready function, we will calculate the center coordinate of the screen using the get view port rect function. So once we get the center coordinate, we can find how far our mouse is from the center and then use that offset to move the node in the opposite direction. So in the process function, we calculate the offset by subtracting our mouse position from the center and then I'm also gonna multiply it by 0.1 because the distance could be very large and we only want to move the rectangles just a little bit. Then for moving rectangle with a nice animation, we are going to use twin. So first of all, we will create a twin and after the offset, we will use this twin to animate the position of the node to our new offset. And I will also set the duration of the animation to one second. And that's it. You can play the game and everything's working as expected, but there is still one problem left. You see, when you try to resize the screen, for some reason, the control node is not staying at the center. So to solve this, I will select the root node and add one on item rec change signal to the script. This function will be called every time our screen size changes. So inside it, we again calculate the new center and then set our node position to that center. Now it also has a little problem that this function also runs when our game is loading for the first time, which means before even we can store the reference of our control node in the node variable, we are trying to use it. So our function will give an error since the node will be null. And to solve this, we will simply add one condition where we are checking if the node is not null. And that's it. You can now even resize the screen and everything stays at the center. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you have any questions or want to see more tutorials on UI design, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.